Hi, I'm Steve Goodman and this is Practical 365. I'm back again to talk to you about Microsoft Lists, the newest feature inside Microsoft 365. The great news is Microsoft Lists is a tool that allows you to organize all sorts of information if you've got a list of anything, whether that is a gender for an event or it might be your travel requests all sorts of stuff like that you can stick in Microsoft Lists. And the great news is this is now available inside Microsoft Teams. Let's take a look. Right, I'm inside Microsoft Teams and, well, first of all, before I start diving in, I'm just going to give you a quick overview so you can see what Microsoft Lists is. Now, if I go into the waffle in the Microsoft 365 portal, you'll see a new app in here. This is Lists. If you don't see that colourful icon here, then click All Apps and you'll see it at the top of the list. It's one of the new apps. If I click on that, you'll see it's got its own page and it's getting its own app. So a bit like Teams and Planner and Yammer, you'll get a mobile app for this as well at some point soon, I think later this year. And in here, we can create these lists and they'll either be stored just for us in our OneDrive or they'll be stored attached to a team or SharePoint site. They actually live in SharePoint in the back end and they build on functionality that you've already had in Microsoft 365, which makes it easy to convert some of your existing information over into lists. So for example, if I click on new list in here, then I can bring in an Excel file that I've already got in my OneDrive, or I can use an existing SharePoint list or I can pick one of these snazzy templates here. And you can see Microsoft have already thought of some of the reasons why you might want to use this. Now, it's good on its own, but let's see if we can use it for something that all of our team can use over in Teams. So I've got my Market project team here and my go-to-market plan. Because I use the tools for the right way, then I'm already using Planner if I need a list of tasks that we all need to accomplish and work on as a team. We want to use the right tool for the right job. So don't stop using Planner if you're using it already. It's really good for making these kind of boards where we can have these buckets of tasks, like as you can see here, engineering, manufacturing, launch, and track the progress of these. However, Microsoft Lists is extremely good if we want to go and create a list for our team and add that in here. So I'm going to press add a tab in the top right over here. And then you'll see that I can choose to build one in to my team. And you'll see Lists is one of the applications here. If you don't see it, then just search for Lists and you'll see. Now, when we add this, we can choose to save this into our team. And then that's going to give us the ability to then create a list or add an existing list into the team. If I want to create a new list, then I'll get that similar option that we saw over on the web page. However, this is going to be very focused around its use in Teams. It'll make sure automatically that everybody in our Mark 8 project team can already use it. So, for example, in my go to market plan, then I might want to have an event itinerary. So I'm going to click on event itinerary and it's going to allow me to have a predefined template that I can bring in. You'll see every list has the rows here, which were all the items that we'll be able to add. And then we've got individual columns. We can go in and we can change all of these columns once it's been created. However, this template allows us to start with something that's really easy to use and change. So I'm just going to choose use template. I can give it a name, I'll keep that as the default, and I can pick a colour for that as well. I'll press create, and that'll make that over in my team, and you'll see I've now got an event itinerary list, and you'll see it's formatted so it works really well inside the Teams view. Now we can edit in grid view if you want to add lots of information, or we can choose new item. And as you can see, this is formatted well, so it looks great inside the Teams user interface. It's almost like you've just built a brand new app and given it to all of your team members. And you can see the type of information that we can contain here. And of course, why it's so different to to do or Microsoft Planner, because for our event itinerary, uh, we've got our session name, session code, the type of session that we're going to have at our launch event, a description for that, a speaker name that we can pick from our global address list and we can add the session times into here. 
We can also add attachments. For example, if we've got a PowerPoint presentation that will present as part of this. Now, the great thing about these are we can change we can change these or move them around. So if I've decided that this needs to come down over here, I can just drag and drop it. And of course, if I want to go and add in a new column, then I can do so. And I've got this whole list of different types of information that I can add. For example, a single line of text, a multiple choice, a date and time. I can add a description type field with multiple lines of text. A person allows me to select somebody from the directory. And of course, we've got yes, no, hyperlinks if we need a link to a web page elsewhere, location and picture. And of course, if we've got more columns than we want to show here, we can use show hide columns to filter what people will actually see and strip that back just so it's the most relevant information to show inside the list, inside this view. So that's Microsoft Lists, and don't forget to subscribe to Practical365 and like the video. You can see more videos like this on our channel, and of course, head over to practical365.com.